Hello, folks. Welcome to those bourbon guys. This is one of the new sets. So that's why it looks different. It's because it is different. Is and, it, is uh, it really, though? It's very is different. It really? It is. Hey, ham, ham. Today, we are reviewing 6 and 20 old money, but it is a stole pick from Battelle's. We've already drank some of this. It's pretty diggum delicious, but we'll give you guys our review on it. It's uh, it's cash strength. It is cash strength, yeah. It's 119.96 proof. 6 and 20. Just even 120. <laughs> Come on, we doing, huh? 20 is in your name. You could yeah. put 120 as the proof. No, there's six and 19.96 is what it is. <laughs> so we're gonna try to open this. This is our first time filming at this set, so I didn't really think this through. How am I gonna pour this? <laughs> Pull your glass out. There you so, go. So six and 20 is a small distillery here, actually local to us in- uh, Take my glass out. <laughs> so needy, AJ. Maybe we should pour before we uh, start filming. They're a local distillery to us. They're here in uh, Greenville, South Carolina, yep. doing some cool stuff. We've liked their stuff for several years, but we've had a hard time tracking down a, a cash drink. We always seem to miss it when they do the release at the distillery. They only release it a couple times a year. Uh, so when we saw this at one of the local stores, a, a uh, bottles barrel pick. The nose on it is super sweet. I'm just going to say, it, it's oily. It's as extremely oily. Extremely yeah. oily. The color. You got mighty. Look how dark that is. It's one of the darker whiskeys that I've ever seen. The the nose on this is just so dark. It's it's like a sh super sharp sweet. Like yes. The darkest of brown sugars you could possibly get. Yeah, like brown sugar. I get like raisins, like dark, the dark fruit, the dark fruit, and stewed. Not like just not like fresh dark fruit, but like a like raisin, like a, a stewed down dark yeah. fruit kind of compote. You know, I the like compote. that word. A compote. A computo. Computi, a compati. <laughs> right. It smells really good. And well, so not just that though. I know I did that just so he couldn't drink. <laughs> I'm just gonna drink without thinking. How about that? How about that? Did you pick anything else up on the nose? I pick up. I want to drink this. <laughs> what a great oh. first pour at ten in the morning. Seriously, because we're filming at ten in the morning. <laughs> it's the job. <laughs> it is. Mm, 120 proof. First thing. It's so, the breakfast of champions. It is breakfast. It is breakfast. <laughs> this is grandma's molasses. For you southern folk uh, who yes. are familiar with the glass jar with the yellow label, grandma's molasses. This tastes like grandma's molasses. Uber sweet. Very the mouth coating. I'm licking it out of my teeth. You have to yeah. it's, it's stuck in your teeth. <laughs> it's, it is coating. It, it is. In a very good way. I don't know what they did, but this is damn good. This is their weeded mash bill. It is. <laughs> Exactly. No words. Just ha 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 evil laugh. <laughs> Interesting tidbit. You know when you uh, you try to describe something, but you can't think of a word to describe it. That's because that, all the blood rushed to your dick. Well, that too. Yeah. It, it's because it's the part of the brain that processes feelings, and we, it is not humanly possible to apply logical language to those feelings. You talking about the mandula oblongata? Gata, oh, mama. The medulla oblongata. Sure. And I like Vicky Valencourt, <laughs> and she liked me back. <laughs> And she showed me her boobies, and I liked them too. No, it mama, you're the devil. <laughs> <laughs> the molasses note, the dark fruit comes through. It has this really nice oak. The yeah. oak is very present, but not bitter at all. Not at all. Not a single bitter. Not at all. It's just this nice, uh, just constant current of oak through the whole, uh, through the whole palate. And then the finish on that, it's nice that, okay, so this is, obviously it's a South Carolina product. This is, does not taste like a Kentucky bourbon, but I like that. It's different. It is very different. It's different in all the good ways. Different. Because <laughs> sometimes you, you taste, uh, we've tasted some of this like, yeah, this is, it's different. It's like to comedy, yeah. the uh, Kentucky Owl, yeah. to comedy edition yeah. or whatever. It's, it's different. But I don't know if I like that different. I, I don't know if I like it either. We've gone back to it. We opened it up again. I mean, it, it, it got better for me, it, and the flavor did change. But again, I'm trying to justify if it's good or not for the price point. Yeah. This is 60 bucks. This is 60 bucks. I'm going to get another one. This is different than I want. This is when yeah. I want something, uh, I want to go get up something that I'm going to enjoy and be a little different than normal, my normal go-to bourbons. This is going to be that bottle. Hey, by the way, if you like what we're doing, hit that like button and notification bell so you know when we're dropping new content every week. And if you like this and you want to see more, check us on our Patreon. Link will be in the description below. And cut.